Yo, Tony, when I'm growing up, me and you the same age, I'm born in 69, I'm 53, you 50. You old. I ain't old. You older. You old. You older. You older. You older. You older. What happened to the foundational black American within baseball? When I was growing up in the 70s, the Yankees would have four or five starting black players, mm -hmm. the Kansas City Royals, mm -hmm. the St. Louis Cardinals, five, six players. What's up with that? What happened? Um, or your opinion, rather? In my opinion, it starts at home. Again, we spoke of this earlier. If you are the father or the caregiver or the grandparent, whatever you are to that kid, and you didn't grow up at home with a baseball in your hand, a baseball bat, you grew up with football and basketball, that father figure is pushing you to that. This is what Dion said, and when he said it, I, I believe it. If you're, if you're not gonna teach your son if you didn't have it in your hand. You're not gonna push him that way. You're gonna push him to what you did, especially if you did well in high school or in college, you're gonna push him to that sport. That's one, two, baseball, it's a process. You get drafted, you go to school, you get drafted. It's a process, you gotta be, you can be in the minor leagues for five or six years. Basketball and football, you go right to the show. These guys are going to college and playing one year and getting drafted. So it, it's, it's the instant success, instant pay, pay, uh, payroll, the payout. I get it, not, not, not knocking them, I get it. Uh, third, travel baseball is outpricing us. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. It's our pricings. Not only just African American, but the brown kids and some white kids. We can't afford it. Yeah, it ain't just black people. It's a lot of yes, white people. We can't. We can't, can't afford it's it. It's a lot of money with this travel thing. We can't afford it. So, and then the last part is if you're not going to these big power five schools, they're not looking for us. My son went to Norfolk State University, Norfolk, Virginia. Historically black college. Freshman All-American. Morris Brown. I went to Morris Brown. We used to tear Norfolk State up in football. Yeah, well, you said football. You know, we, we talk we in baseball. No baseball well, that's, why, that's why you couldn't tear us up. But nonetheless, he goes there, and Coach Claudio Clark, every year he was there, he got people drafted, da 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 My son goes to Norfolk State. He's a freshman All-American. Freshman All-American. Now. What position? Uh, second base. But he's a fresh, freshman All-American. My, my whole point is that being a freshman All-American, right, you would think people will understand. Not to mention, they knew who I was. Hey, Tony Womack's a kid, right? Freshman All-American. The MEAC, the conference, my son got, he wasn't first team, he wasn't second team, he wasn't third team, he wasn't on metric. He wasn't even freshman of the year. He was absolutely nothing his freshman year. But baseball people say you're a freshman All-American. So the email went out to the MEAC and said, so this Womack kid is a freshman All-American from D1, D2, D3, JUCOs, everything. But you as a conference don't give him nothing? So nonetheless, I keep telling my son, we don't play for accolades. We play because we're very good at what we do. Check him out, Joe. Right? So he's a freshman All-American. He was at Norfolk State four years, didn't even get drafted. We signed as a free agent with the White, Chicago White Sox this past year. And uh, what were we at, 22 and 21. It's funny, right? Scouts are there to watch him. They said they, they put him on a, on a draft. You, you have to submit a name to the draft board for your kid to get drafted. Those people that said they was going to do it, they didn't do it. Check them out, Joe. They didn't do it. So it was, a, again, once again, it's adversity for my son and for my family. It's a kiddo, don't worry. So I personally called Ken Williams Sr., the GM for the White Sox, said, hey, just give my kid a, just give him a workout. Just give him a workout. Kenny Williams still there? He's still there. I said, give him a workout. I said, he said, Tony, that's up to the scouting department. So the guy calls me on a Friday, on a Monday. They worked out on my, they worked my kid out. On a Thursday, they called, hey, we want to sign your kid. We want to invite him to spring training. And now my son, so there's six levels. Rookie ball, low A, high A, double A, triple A, big leagues. In year one of pro ball, my son is at the third level. He's at high A and doing well. I, again, they don't look for us. If my son was a, in my opinion, if my son was a freshman All American, playing at a Power Five school, no doubt that he got drafted. But I understand with COVID, short COVID, short things, people don't can't scout their way. I get all that, no problem. I get all that. But then my point was, I did really, really well in the game. I respect the game. You're not gonna look at my son for this. I get it. So they can say what they want. My opinion is. They go and choose what they want to choose. They, old school scouting, when I scouted me, 
Oh, they'd been they'd been all over my son. But the, it's not that way. The game has changed. There are people who are running it are from Harvard and Yale and analytics. These guys ain't never hit a ball. They plug in the numbers into a model, computer but model. But that model doesn't work in the playoffs. It may work in regular season because you got another game tomorrow. Right. In the playoffs, it don't work that way. It's either win or go home. That's why you see the Braves, Snicker, he, he's old school manager. Dusty's an old school manager. Tony Russo, old school manager. That's why those guys win and, you know, do their thing because. Buck Walter. Buck Walter. That's how you win. You win by playing the game. You don't play the game with a computer. Some of the analytics, for, as far as health and maintenance and, you know, keeping you healthy, get it. When it's between the white line, man, it's hard and effort. It's real simple. Hard and effort.